Good morning, everybody. This is Pete Traction from Let Pete Plan at gmail.com, an agent for Boardwalk Travel Agency. And I'm going to give you a few updates on some dates and some times, uh, probably uh, for the upcoming events between now and the end of the year at Walt Disney World. Um, we're going to start off uh, with the thing that's coming up the quickest, I think. Um, the International Food and Wine Festival, presented by Corksicle. Um, it begins on July 27th and runs through November 18th. And then it will be quickly turned around to the International Festival of the Holidays, which will start on November 24th through December 30th. Um, checked on uh, uh, possible narrators for the um, uh, candlelight processional. Uh, however, there has been no commitment yet. Uh, doesn't mean that there hasn't been. It just means that we're not getting in, any information about that yet. Uh, a lot of things going to go on at Epcot before uh, this uh, before November twenty fourth. Um, as a matter of fact, Epcot is going to become the home the East Coast home of the um, Celebrate 100 Years of Disney Magic. Um, it says uh, Epcot will be the center of that um, celebration. Uh, it's been going on for a while at um, uh, Disneyland and also uh, if you've been in the parks, uh, a lot of merchandise coming out about it. There's going to be even more. Now, it also coincides with um, two festivals, um, uh, the food and wine and also uh, the festival of the holidays. So that'll be going on also at Epcot during that time. Uh, but they will be, as it says, we also pay tribute to the brilliant storytellers who create Disney magic through exhilarating and heartwarming experiences. They're transforming Epcot into a park of limitless possibilities, brimming with new wonders for you to discover. Um, I don't know what this means about uh, whether all the walls are coming down <laughs> or what, but it does look like they're pl definitely planning by uh, September 22nd to probably have a few walls, a few more walls down, and also to make it a lot easier to transform and maneuver throughout the park, um, which will be great for those of us who uh, go frequently, um, and those of you who don't, um, who just come in once, once a year maybe, or once every other year, um, depending on how your vacationing goes. Um, we are getting very close to Mickey's Not So Scary um, Halloween Party. Uh, a little update on that. Uh, the party on Halloween night has been sold out. So if you had your had your hopes up um, to uh, uh, go on Halloween night, um, better luck next year, I guess. <laughs> um, Unless you already got your tickets, then congratulations. Uh, I'm going sometime late September, September 28th, I think it is the date. I'll have to check on that. But um, that date, it, which is the only one that has been sold out. Um, uh, the November 1st one has not been. Um, now, um, following Mickey's Not So Scary, which runs from on 38 nights from August 11th to November 1st. And as I said, one of those nights has already been sold out. So there's really only 37 cho choices to make. Um, and actually, ironically, it's the most expensive night um, has been sold out. Um, now, I think November 1st is the same price. I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to look that up. Now, then we go right into pretty much uh, overnight um, from November 1st 
to November 2nd overnight after the parks close and everybody's out. Um, it becomes a from from a spooky wonderland to a winter Christmas wonderland um, overnight. However, the Very Merry Christmas Party does not begin until November 9th. Um, and it runs for 25 nights from November 9th through December 22nd. We're going on the 14th of November. Um, so that's that. Um, uh, been there. Um, we're at the beginning of the trip. We were looking at um, Halloween decorations. And then the end of our trip, we went back to the Magic Kingdom and we were already seeing um, Christmas decorations. Now, we didn't go to any of the parties at the time, but uh, we, were, we were in the Magic Kingdom um, in two different, <laughs> you know, very quick on a uh, very quick turnover on on the decoration part there is an actual good show on um disney plus that is hosted by whoopi goldberg um about decorating for the holidays at walt disney world and disneyland and it kind of goes through that night where you know, oh, everybody's gone, let's bring it all out. Now, as you can imagine, um, they're preparing for this year round, um, but the actual tearing down, putting back up happens at the Magic Kingdom just like that. Now, the other parks take a little bit more time. Then again, they don't have the um, um, Halloween decorations to really worry about. Now, this year, um, because of uh, a new hard ticket item, Jollywood Nights, which begins on November 11th, um, Hollywood Studios will probably start, you'll probably start seeing some decorations right after Halloween in, in Disney Hollywood Studios Park. That's my guess. They're usually pretty quick with changing, changing out the uh, decor again they don't go too heavy on the halloween because there is no halloween party there um now epcot um they go through food and wine until november 8th november 18th and then they start up on november 24th which is six days after that they're starting up with the festival of the holidays they're the latest usually um animal kingdom does their own Decorations, they don't have any special nights or no um, festivals or or hard ticket items, um, but they do, you know, they go, it doesn't take them too long to get up with their things. Now, the resorts, the ones usually closer to the Magic Kingdom start putting up their decorations early. I'm not sure about how Grand Floridian is going to be this year, except I do know that they are planning on having the gingerbread house. Um, don't know how how all the other construction is going to, and Polynesian is going to be the same way. Although all the construction of Polynesian is a separate building that they're building, uh, Grand Floridian is working on the lobby. However, I think most of that construction is going to be held over until January, until January of 2024 um, so they can get the holidays in and, and all that fun stuff. Now, uh, one big thing is, as I told you about, the um, uh, Epcot is the center of uh, the 100th celebration. Um, I do know... Uh, they are doing planning on there's going to be a big mural going up somewhere. I, woo, I don't know. Um, which would be actually kind of coincide with uh, the Festival of the Arts, and it'll probably stay up for a while. And I don't know if it's supposed to be permanent or anything. Um, I do know that um, the uh, statue of Walt uh, is supposed to be. 
they're supposed to be doing something special every night on Spaceship Earth with the um, lights uh, to the tune of When You Wish Upon a Star, uh, which is uh, from the movie Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket and all that fun stuff. So that's that. Um, other than... Uh, I'm not, I don't have anything reserved yet. Um, I do plan on, today is the 22nd, so that means the 27th will be later this week. Um, I think Thursday, and that will be the first day of uh, Epcot's um, food and wine. We'll probably not be there on that first day, but I might be there on that second day, which is the Friday. Um, and my wife and I and my son, two sons, might make a last day before my oldest son goes back to school. And we, uh, we uh, it might be our last big Disney hurrah. Now, it's just a day trip. We go in, we come back before, um, because we live not that far away. Um, I know that's not how everybody vacations, but that's how we've been doing it this summer. Now, my wife and I did take a trip, and as I think it's been well documented um, on my videos, uh, we took it uh, early in the summer once um, at uh, the Yacht Club, which was very good, very nice, very good time. And if you want to, if you're new to the channel, look back at some of those videos um we do have um tickets for not so scary and also very merry um not have made up my mind on jollywood nights yet um we do have a lot of other things going on at that time it's the holidays you know uh my wife's just started a new job, and she's enjoying it. Matter of fact, she's gone today uh, working. Um, but um, other than that, uh, and then we start to get into block out dates on our annual passes. Uh, we have the Pixie Dust Pass, and we enjoy it. Um, we've been able to go during the weeks. Uh, I, I know... Um, you, you've heard it's not been as crowded this summer. Well, it's been crowded enough and it's been pretty, pretty warm. Um, I'm not a apologist for Bob Iger. Um, but the idea that the humidity and the heat kept people away, although it's like saying, you know, gosh, don't go in the pool. It's awful. It, don't go in the pool today. It's wet. It's always hot and humid in Florida in July. However, I think it's been a little overly hot and humid in that. I think Universal's uh, had some, had didn't meet their uh, quota of people, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, the attendance has been down at Universal too. Um, not sure about SeaWorld. Um, but uh, with that said, it, 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 it's been hot. It's been humid. Uh, matter of fact, I get, I started my uh, walk today. And that's why you're not seeing Pluto Puppy with me today. Um, because we made our walk and earlier today i i was walking at about 6 15 in the morning and it it was still pretty muggy out by the time we ended is when we would usually start to um, record or start our walk um on most days so that's that okay now here's the thing if you want to plan uh, a Disney World, Universal Orlando um, vacation for between now and the end of the year or even into 
2024. Um, I can help you uh, at no extra cost to you. Um, again, I am an agent for Boardwalk Travel Agency, and we can help you um, plan and book uh, a wonderful uh, Disney or, as I said, Universal Orlando uh, vacation. I, you can contact me, let P plan, all one word, all lowercase, at gmail.com. And here's wishing you a very magical day. Maybe I'll see you in the parks.